Hey everybody, it's Derek, and welcome to 365.training presents 10-minute video tips, where we provide tips, tricks, and video-based instruction on the Power Platform and Dynamics 365 features and functionality in 10 minutes or less. In today's video, we'll examine how to use the reference panel in model-driven apps. The reference panel is a very easy way that you can combine lots of information into a singular view. That way you don't necessarily have to have a bunch of subgrids or other items added into your applications. So first let's examine what we mean by using the reference panel. Typically when you're working with a model-driven app, if you want to display related information and not necessarily use the, the related functionality where you have to click on related and then find the specific related records. You can use what are called subgrids. And the advantage of subgrids is you have all of the information right here at your disposal and you can add new records and you can work with information just like you normally would need to. The drawback to subgrids is particularly in scenarios where maybe you have a lot of information or maybe you need to have a lot of subgrids to supplement what it is that you're trying to work with. It can take up a lot of real estate. Now I don't necessarily have to do a ton of scrolling here but in certain situations, if I had a lot more of these, I might have to do you know, a, a massive amount of scrolling in order to make that work. What we're trying to do is simplify the user interface to make it as easy as possible for people to locate the information that they're working with. So here's another example of that. I've got the same situation here, same information, but instead of using a bunch of subgrids, now we're using the reference panel. Now the advantage to utilizing the reference panel is over here, I still have information, the same information. I can see my, my open houses, but over here I can now start clicking on things and seeing other information. I can see the showings, I can see any offers that are associated with it. All of that information is just using the same subgrid functionality, but now I'm able to see that within the context of the record through without having to scroll everything kind of displays in line. If I wanted to look at one of these individual records as I'm going through this, I can select the record itself and I can actually go in and edit the record or I can simply open it up and get kind of a preview of the record inside the application. So let's examine how this process looks. It, it starts with going in and modifying the forms to fit your specific needs. Now there's a couple of things to keep in mind first and foremost. First thing is, it's typically best to do this through some type of solution. And if you haven't done anything on solutions, there's a lot of different videos and areas out there that help kind of work through solutions. And we can put one out on solutions at a later time if you're interested. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a solution that I created called Real Estate Management. And one of the things that you have to remember is, a lot of the icons that you're going to be utilizing in the reference panel are not going to be there by default. Obviously, if I wanna you know, show pictures of houses or I wanna use things that really symbolize, in this case, the real estate industry, I would need to have those icons. And so the way that I can do that is I can do that by creating what are called web resources. And web resources is what allow us to upload external files into the application. In this case, I've uploaded several web resources, ones that are being used for the property images, the show showing images and the open house images. That way when I actually come into modifying the form, I have that information at my disposal. So that's first and foremost. Second thing that you have to start thinking about is how are you going to work through this when you start modifying the form to add the related panel. So the way that you're going to do that is you're going to come into here you're going to pick the entity that you want to work with, in this case the real estate property entity, and I'm going to go to forms. And I'm going to go ahead and open up this form. Now this is going to open up the form in kind of the new modernized Power Platform Designer. This doesn't necessarily give us all of the same capabilities that we would have in the Legacy Designer for those of you who are coming from a Dynamics background. And so in the interim, if you want to be able to do the related panel, you currently do have to go in, switch to what's called Classic Mode, and then add the related panel from that point. Once the related panel is added, you can always come back you know, and, and modify the related panel in this area here. So I can modify some of the properties on it based upon the information that I have. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to switch to classic. Once I'm in my form that I want to modify, now it becomes how do I add the related panel into that? And that's going to be done through the section area. So when I come into section, you'll see an option here that says reference panel. 
So when I add this reference panel, this is really going to look almost exactly the same as a normal section that you would add into your application. The difference is this section is going to allow any subgrids that we add to it to behave differently than normal. And so what I usually do in this scenario is I might come into this and just rename this related just so I know that I'm working with, you know, what I'm working with. So in this case, maybe I'll call it related records and I'll choose to show the information on the form. And then I'm just going to get rid of this other section. Now, the, on a side note, you can only have one of these related panels per form. So if I were to come up here and try to insert the reference panel again, I'll get a message that says that you can only have one reference panel per form. So the next piece of this is now I want to insert the items that I want to show up in the related panel. And I'm going to do this just like if I were going to insert a subgrid into a normal form. I'm going to make sure that I have my items selected and I'm going to choose subgrid. And then from within here, I would now define what information I want to display. So since this is going to basically just be a subgrid that's going to be displayed in the reference panel, I'm going to pick the entity, which in this case is going to be open houses. And I'm going to ensure that open houses are only related records. So it's only open houses that are associated with this particular property or the property that's being selected. I'm going to display the label. I'm going to then just call this something simple like open houses. Then I need to define what specific image I want to work with. And this is where that uploading of the web resource comes into play. So in here, I'm going to just do a little quick search for the items that I want to work with. And here I've got a new open house icon. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that particular open house icon. I'll hit OK. And now I have created that item inside the application. It's going to look and, and kind of display from a subgrid perspective, but it's not necessary. But when it actually goes into the form, it'll display appropriately. Now I would just repeat this entire process. So now if I wanted to do one for showings, it would be the same thing. I would come in here pick showings, make sure I'm working with my specific related records, and then define my information from here. Pick my icon that I want to work with. And repeat that process till I have everything in place. Now I can go ahead and save the form and then publish the form. And once I've saved and published the form, now I can go ahead and close out of this designer. And if needed, I can also close out of the modern UI designer as well. But what that'll do is now when I come back into the application and I refresh the application to fit my specific needs, now I will see all of that information in the reference panel and I can very easily move from one property to another using that information. Again, it's a great way to streamline situation and consolidate what you're seeing on a form and make it much easier easier to have large amounts of information with minimal real estate. So that's going to do it for our look into how to work with the reference panel and add it to your forms. I hope you found it I hope you found it useful. Thanks again for watching everybody and from all of us here at 365.training this is Derek saying thanks again. Take care and have a good one.